From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. As we go into a big evening, tomorrow is the big day. $1,400 third stimulus checks will land in some direct deposit accounts tomorrow. That's that $1,400 third stimulus check for wave three. Meantime, more checks landed in mailboxes today, and more checks will land in mailboxes all week long from both second and third wave. I have all the tracking details, whether you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits. And whether you use the Direct Express card or a major bank or a credit union, all those big details about your $1,400 third stimulus check tonight on Evenings L8. I have the latest updates about fourth stimulus and the push for reoccurring stimulus checks in that bill as well. Meantime, that video from yesterday when the president urges Americans to be vigilant, as a new series of reports today, Tuesday, echoes what Dr. Walensky said yesterday, a growing surge among the virus strains across the country, and now new worries that mutations may not be protected with the current vaccines. Meantime, I personally look back on one of the most memorable and shocking videos ever recorded on this channel that was related to today's date, 3.30. And I have an update for you as to what happened since that video nearly a year ago today. Elsewhere, Janet Yellen releases a new video and it looks like that one that was deleted. So what went on? Why is one there and another one gone? I have all the big details as we go into a big night of Evening's LA. A lot of excitement is brewing for tomorrow and for all throughout the way, all throughout the week. It's 3.30, it's no longer a vortex. We're getting to the finish line, and this is Evenings at a Light. It's 3.30, and it's the one-year anniversary of the date that lives in infamy as made history with this channel. The 3.30 Vortex that referred to March 30th of last year, when millions of viewers did not get paid their EIDL on time and were locked in what was called a Vortex, an expression which I coined on this channel. I look back on that 3.30 Vortex history of this channel and the viewers and give you the latest update today. Thank you for joining me on Evening to LA. What a big day it is. It's birthday week and it's 3.30. And boy, along the way, we have a lot developing today in tonight's broadcast. We'll be going over that $14 stimulus check by direct deposit tomorrow. We'll be going over the people getting paper checks yesterday, today, and also all throughout the week and next week. We'll be going over what's going on with SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Rural Benefits. Then we'll be cutting to four stimulus, a series of new reports on top of the reports from yesterday on the eve of that bill being introduced. Yes, tomorrow is for stimulus and it will absolutely heat up, but there's real surprises about what Chuck Schumer is doing. Meantime, new shocking developments about the mutations and whether the virus strains provided by the vaccine uh, protection are, will work or not. A new announcement for Apple, details about schools and, and learning during this pandemic, commercial real estate, and more about what Chuck Schumer is doing. But how are you? If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. It's a big day with a lot of stuff happening tonight. And throughout the day, you're going to see, throughout this evening, you're going to see a lot of videos. And I'm so excited you're here. So make sure you subscribe. Give a birthday subscription. Also, like this video. Let's try to do two, 3,000 likes. And if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member of Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. The breaking news is the following about the $1,400 third stimulus check. Tomorrow is Wave 3's effective date. I was the first to exclusively report Wave 2 last Saturday and the first two weeks ago on Saturday and the first exclusively to report Wave 3 for tomorrow uh, on 3.31. What does Wave 3 mean? What am I referring to? Let me explain. 
$1,400 third stimulus checks are sent out in waves. In fact, all stimulus checks are sent out in waves. The question is how many waves? The first wave landed on the 17th, approximately. The second wave was the 24th, and the third wave will be tomorrow. First, how do we know that tomorrow is a wave, and what's happening tomorrow? And has stuff already happened? Let me go over all those details right now. 331 is a wave. We know that because I have viewers who have sent me private messages of their direct deposits pending from Direct Express card, they're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits, pending deposits on their big banks, including U.S. Bank. One viewer jumped into the chat yesterday, said theirs was pending. I've had a lot of others as well. And also people who have sent them me a copy of their screen grab of their pending deposit from their credit unions for tomorrow, 331. That is where the first group of people we've gotten the information from. Second group are people who have gone to their irs.gov tracking tool and have gotten the results that there's a 331 pending deposit for tomorrow. And they first saw that manifest last Saturday. Why? Because the deposits landed last Friday. Banks have had the funds since last Friday. And finally, the last spot they have seen the results have been also in individuals who have gone from no result or a prior result to now a change result of 331. This is what you need to know. People getting deposits tomorrow may not be all of you, may only be a fraction of you. We don't know the magnitude yet. I've seen uh, not an enormous surge of you set scheduled for tomorrow, but a, a sizable amount. These are people on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Rail Benefits. These are people on Direct Express Card. These are people with big banks and small banks. Now, understand, as you listen to this recording, this may include you tomorrow or may not include you tomorrow. We don't know if you have no IRS tracking tool result, and we have no, no, we have no way to know if your bank has not given you an alert or Direct Express has not given you an alert. Now, here's what you also need to know, is that 9 out of 10 viewers never get an alert before a deposit occurs. It just occurs. So it could occur tomorrow. Nine out of 10 times, the deposit just lands. And nine out of 10 times, the deposit just lands in the mailbox. Yes, I would expect that over 50% of you tomorrow will not get it by direct deposit, but will get it in the mail. Why? Because we already saw that from wave two and we already have confirmation from Treasury as to wave two. So it's likely to be the same thing with wave three. In fact, I have a lot more viewers who have pending mail checks for May 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th than people who have pending deposits for, did I say May? Sorry about that. <laughs> for April 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, sorry to scare you there. Uh, April 3rd, 4th, and 5th, and 2nd. I have more for ma penny mail deposits than uh, direct deposits for March 31st. So see how things are sort of evolving across the board. Now, what's also important to understand is that some of the banks may release the funds in advance of tomorrow. Some have already released those funds. Those are Metabank and NetSpend. <laughs> you know what was hysterical? Uh, was as though I had been paid off for timing. <laughs> The tip is in the mail. Why? Because last night, I believe it was on this show on Evenings Out of Light, I was telling you that I've already had a viewer receive over the weekend, last weekend, the clearance of their Wave 3 $1,400 third stimulus check. And I said that viewer is from Met NetSpend Metabank, and you could also see your funds land ahead of the 331 date. And the moment I said that on camera, then Quintero, one of my longtime viewers, jumped to the live chat and said, guess what? Mine from NetSpend Metabank just cleared today as well. That was yesterday, 329. So there you go. Who would also pay in advance? Green Dot, um, Green Emerald Card, but H&R Block. Also TurboTax, Chime, Bank Corp, and also... Uh, TurboTax. Now, here's what's important for you to know: is that more than more than less, more than you would expect, you're going to see that stimulus check in the mail. It's not going to come in the direct deposit. Throughout the last few weeks, and. A 
especially this week, for reasons we don't know, there was a growing insurgency among viewers or a, a, a push among certain viewers to try to keep the narrative that it's only coming by direct deposit and nowhere else but direct deposit. This is absolutely untrue, and I fear for anyone that tries to think that way, because ultimately it may be in the mail, and if you don't see it in the mail, you'll never see it in the direct deposit. This is what's very obvious and very important to understand. Treasury has made this statement as loud as they can make the statement. A week ago yesterday, they said, if you don't see the stimulus check by the 24th, watch the mail. It is likely in the mail, and that includes the check and also the debit card. Also, last Saturday, I had hundreds of thousands of viewers who had a mail result, whether it's March 26th or April 2nd to April 5th. Those included people on Direct Express, Debit, and also SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Rail Benefits. And yet some people wanted to keep a narrative, at least in their mind, that it's only going to come in the, in the bank, it never will come in the mail, and ultimately all I can say is if you miss it in the mail, yet it's very, very hard hard to replace it. So what will that check look? Uh, excuse me, what will that envelope look like? I've heard a lot of narratives about what the third wave check envelopes look like. Send me some more images if you've gotten it. One viewer said theirs had a, a seal on the outside. It had a seal. I wasn't clear from their message if it was on the outside or inside the, the, the window of the car, of the envelope. But what's important is that this was the second wave of envelopes and they were both beige and white. There was no seal on the outside. There was no stamp. There was no noticeable language that would tip you off to know that this is not spam mail. There was the words information about economic impact payment in red, but if you forgot what economic impact payment is, or didn't look at it, or notice how thin it was, or had it slid into some other mail, or notice how very light it is, you could have discarded it. And I had viewers discard that second stimulus check. So what should you know about tomorrow? What should you know about the mail checks? I'll have all that detail coming up. But a video yesterday detailed the president's frustration with the American people at not safeguarding their concerns across the board when dealing with the growing surge of the virus. Let's listen in to that message from the president. That's recorded in the weekend. Over 10 million shots in three days. That would have been inconceivable in January. The progress we've made on vaccinating this country is a great American story. The federal government has stepped up, taken responsibility, and launched a massive federal vaccination program. Governors and mayors of both political parties, Republicans and Democrats, have stepped up as well. Our military, our National Guard, FEMA, they have all been incredible. Healthcare providers, community leaders from all walks of life. So many volunteers of all ages and backgrounds stepped up as well. My fellow Americans, look at what we have done in the past 10 weeks. No other country has come close. One Later in the same video, the president talks about Dr. Walensky. Our work is far from over. The war against COVID-19 is far from won. This is deadly serious. We share the sentiment of Dr. Walensky, the head of the Center for Disease Control and and prevention. The CDC expressed earlier today, this is not a time to lessen our efforts. That's the video he is referring to is this one, which you'll see shortly. Since that video, a new report released from the People's Vaccine Alliance now worries that the current vaccines may not work against the variants. A survey of 77 experts released Tuesday, midday Tuesday, from experts in 28 countries said that less than one in eight believe that they think that the current vaccines will work against future mutations. The new report believes that a year or less, it will be a year or less before the vi virus mutates to the extent that the majority of first generation vaccines are rendered in ineffective and new or modified vaccines are required. Dr. Walensky, meantime, was very worried about yesterday's numbers. And those numbers still continue to grow today. 5,000 new COVID cases a day nationally. Excuse me, 5% per day growth of COVID cases nationally. A 60 to 20% growth weekly in 30-something states. And this is as the president yesterday increased the vaccine rollouts in several states. What he did was he increased the number of pharmacies getting vaccines by an exponential number. 
because the pharmacies have been the big success in delivering 1 million doses per day, while the FEMA sites have struggled with less than 60,000 per day. Let's listen into Dr. Walensky's message of worry from yesterday. ...spike in cases. We are not powerless. We can change this trajectory of the pandemic, but it will take all of us recommitting to following the public health prevention strategies consistently while we work to get the American public vaccinated. I'm calling on our elected officials, our faith-based communities, our civic leaders, and our other influencers in communities across the nation. And I'm calling on every single one of you to sound the alarm, to carry these messages into your community and your spheres of influence. We do not- Later in this video, Dr. Walensky nearly breaks down in her concern that people are not adhering to standards of safety and precaution. Let's cut back to that 14 hour third stimulus check. So now what should you know about it for tomorrow and this week first? Understand that many will not get it by direct deposit tomorrow. Some will. Some will get it by direct deposit with no prior alert, and some will get it that had a prior alert. The IRS.gov tool has not worked for a lot of viewers' this channel, but for those that have, I would say that over 50% of the viewers of this channel who have an IRS tool result show mail instead of direct deposit. This includes Direct Express consumers, SSI, and SSDI. So if you're a viewer who has no result from the IRS tool, no result from your bank, use those analytics as a microcosm to understand what your situation is, which is the following. You have a over 50% chance that the check is in the mail because 50% of the viewers of this channel, which does a hundred half a million to a million views per day, have a result that it's in the mail, not that it's coming by direct deposit. And those include people on SSI, SSDI, direct deposit, direct express consumers big bank consumers, and also small bank users. This also includes people who got that first and second stimulus by direct deposit. So who would likely not get it by direct deposit tomorrow? It could be anyone who got that first and second stimulus check by direct deposit. You may never get this one by direct deposit, Treasury has told us. It may only be coming in the mail. Number two, if you have a representative payee, they're getting your stimulus check, not you. Number three, if you're dependent on someone else's tax return, they're getting the stimulus check number as well. Finally, if you have a bank account that has closed and you tried to update it with a new tax return, but that tax return was not received or processed in time, then it would go to that closed bank account, fail, and then go by the paper check. Finally, people who have everything lined up fine, that have a Direct Express card, that have had their benefits on SSI and SSDI, go to a major bank like a Chase or Wells Fargo for 12, 14 years every single month, that have already received their first and second stimulus check by direct deposit, yours may go by the mail as well. That is Treasury's very clear warning. So at any moment, you need to be watching all the different sources. You need to watch the mail and watch the bank. Watch the mail and watch the bank. Don't watch in one place because if it's not there, it may be in the other one. Remember, you may never get an alert before it lands. More about that in a second. But what I want to cut to in a bit is this video, which harkens back to a year ago today. A year ago today, a year ago today was 3.30, 2020. On that day, millions of Americans applied for the EIDL grant and never got a penny for weeks to come. As days unfolded and weeks unfolded, other people got their grant, but the 3.30 people didn't. And then the 331, the March 31st people didn't get it either. And the April 8th, when I came into existence and launched this channel on April 25th, I noticed a trend line that people who had applied for that EI deal grant on 330 weren't getting paid while other people were 331 and 48. Weeks went on and they became part of my inner family. As I watched while other people got grants weeks, months after them, and they were stuck in what I called a vortex, stuck in a 330 or 331 vortex, unable to be paid simply because of the date they applied. What really happened? It was a computer malfeasance at SBA that caused their applications to be locked in a quandary that was never resolving itself. The reason why I bring it up today is for a series of reasons. One, it's a year ago today. Two, I 
freely believe that this is happening all across the board in other items, like stimulus checks, like EIDL, where you wonder why you haven't gotten it and someone else did. And while you watch today and wonder where your stimulus check is as well, I want you to hear this message. At that time, I was reading on air questions and comments that were posted on the channel from viewers. And I read this comment from Giovanni talking about his 330 Vortex application and the impact of it on his employees. Let's listen in to this memorable video and shocking at the time. Let's listen in. As well, a trucker, Paul Ryan, in the transportation industry, and I'm still hoping to get the grants and the loans after be denied the 331, 330 Vortex. Here we go. This is another viewer, just like yesterday's, that won that $95,000 loan. This viewer has gotten still nothing. Same industry, same struggle. Stay with it, Paul. I'm, we, I'm here for you. Giovanni Nichols uh, and Charles, I applied in March 30th. haven't heard anything to April 16th. Uh, then the funds had run out, replenished. I contacted my senator. I have not received any assistance. I need the funds for my employees and, ha and have been talking of suicide. Uh, I need the funds for my employees are having talks of suicide. I need help and I fear that I'll be filing for bankruptcy 23 years on my business. And because of my credit score is 523, I'm going to lose two decades of my life. I did not invest in China. I did not sponsor the coronavirus. Why do I have to pay for it? Um, first of all, death is not an answer. Um, this is the first comment like that. Um, so I'm trying to hold it together after breaking down last night. I'm not going to break down again. Um, uh, whether it's your employees considering suicide or yourself is absolutely not a, a, a solution. I want you to please drop in the comments of this video. Tell me your entire strife. You applied on the 16th. Um, I don't know anything else. Your five, your score is five. Ultimately, I'll give you an update as to what happened in that story shortly after this commercial break. Stay with me. I'll be back in 60 seconds with more. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues now on Evening Evening's LA Late. Later in this video, I'll give you the update as to what happened to Giovanni's employees who were distraught after he was unable to initially get that 330 Vortex application approved. This video was recorded weeks after 330, not on March 30th. So at that point, he had already waited weeks to get that money. And that's when that concern came across the airway. I'll have the details coming up later in this video. 
If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I show you this video for a distinct purpose, and you're going to see later in this video why. Also, like this video. Um, if we get two, 3,000 likes, it really appreciates because I hopefully you see the message I'm trying to deliver. Also, if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member. What's important to understand is that tomorrow will be a big day for some, but not for others. And even if you do not get direct deposit, if you're on Direct Express or any big bank, understand it may be in the mail. And it may come in the mail today or tomorrow. What's going on with the mail delivery? Let me go over all those details right now. Though March 26, mail delivery, April 2nd, April 3rd, April 4th, and April 5th have been the mail delivery results that viewers have gotten from the irs.gov tracking tool. If you can't track your stimulus check, don't worry, because here I got to tell you the following. I have over 50% of the viewers of this channel who have no results for direct deposit on irs.gov. Rather, they have a mail result. These include people on the Direct Express card. These include people on SSI that got that first and second stimulus check. So what date do they have and when will the check land and what happened today? Most viewers have a March 26 date. And the check did not come on March 26th, but for most viewers. Few got it on the 23rd, very few got it on the 27th. But the great news is that they got it on the 29th and they got it on the 30th of today. So the check is clearly late. If you're a March 26th, uh, if you're a March 26 IRS tool person, don't worry. Check the tool at least once per day to make sure it does not change the date. But viewers are getting that 26 check late. So just watch the mail and be patient. Next, I have new viewers. Yes, new viewers who have a March 30th and 31st mail check date. That's a new one. Yes, it is. That's in addition to the people who had the March 30th and March 31st direct deposit date. Finally, I have new viewers who have April 2nd to April 5th at for mail check. So that is wave four, not, excuse me, wave three. That is not wave two. Wave two is the March 26th. So when would you get the mail check? Let me go over that detail right now. When you see a mail date and a, when you see mail and a date, this is what it means. It means that the date in the corner of the check is March 26th. The date on the check is March 26th. Does not mean you're receiving the check on the 26th. It does not mean the check is mailed out on the 26th. So IRS is not representing to you that you're definitely going to get the 26th check on the 26th or by the 26th. I have been reporting because usual benefits land at least up to two days ahead of time that a 26th check would likely land by the 24th. It's been light. So the second wave, the good news is we have almost all the viewers, it's light and it is coming. For the April 2nd to April 5th, we don't know yet if those are late yet. So when you're looking at those check dates, 2nd to 5th for April, watch what's happening with my March 26th viewers. They're getting it on the 29th and 30th. So count out that many days to add to your check for April to understand when generally it was landing as well. We'll see if it's going to be just as late for your round of third wave. Meantime, really surprising news from Chuck Schumer across the board as Chuck Schumer awaits tomorrow. What's also tomorrow? Not just stimulus, uh, not just stimulus checks, but now four stimulus. Tomorrow, the President of the United States will introduce his fourth stimulus package. And a new report today goes another direction about the reconciliation. Let me recap where we are on this, because this one's getting very complicated. I told you it's going to get complicated. Normally, normally, you have one reconciliation to use during a congressional period. This congressional period ends in September. There already has been one reconciliation, so you assume there is no more left. Well, the Democrats, in a report yesterday, claimed that they are saving in their back pocket an extra one. Why? Because they had one last year they didn't use, and they used that for the third stimulus, the check that's in the mail now. So they claim they have a new one for this year they haven't used. Do I agree? I do agree. I think it makes total sense. But what is the what did the report yesterday say? The report yesterday says that they also are going to try to claim that there's a rule provision that allows them to modify a prior reconciliation with another reconciliation. That was yesterday. <laughs> you up to date with me so far? Yeah, that was yesterday. Okay, today there's another version to that. <laughs> As if we just had it. When just when we're up to date and we're understanding everything, that gets really confusing. Here's how it is today. The latest version today 
is that Chuck Schumer has already allegedly asked the Senate parliamentarian to use the force stimulus that's coming up tomorrow as a modification of the third stimulus reconciliation. Wait a second, what's going on here? That he's not using that extra leftover one yet, rather he's trying to modify the third stimulus recon with the fourth stimulus recon. If that sounds bizarre, it is. If this is allowed, this is the, going to th be the thing that limits this process because the Senate floor is incredibly timely. Uh, you don't want to do business via reconciliation all the time, said a House Democrat lawmaker. The Senate's totally screwed up, and the Senate needs to figure out how it wants to be effective legislative body to the bottom line. Let me explain to you why this is very important for so many regards. One, Schumer has an extra recon in his pocket, but he's trying to get two extra recon in his pocket. I don't think the parliamentarian is going to give him the second one. Number two, the thought process of doing recon after recon is a little bit scary for even Democrats. Let me explain why. The fourth stimulus package could get passed without a single Republican support. But guess what? When it goes to the Senate again, you have that marathon session where any senator can sit on that floor and modify the recon bill. And that's where senators who want those, re those reoccurring stimulus checks every month to the end of this year could do it then. This actually opens a very great door for you to get those, re those reoccurring stimulus checks because a recon process, when it lands in the Senate, gives that free two-day period approximately, at which is a free-for-all to do whatever modification you want as a senator. And whatever modification they do, it's done. But... McConnell says this is getting to be ridiculous. McConnell says, and unfortunately, this is, looks like it's going ahead in the direction I had not hoped. My advice to the administration is if you want to do an infrastructure bill, Wednesday, let's do an infrastructure bill. Let's not turn it into a massive effort to raise taxes on business and individuals, which it will be. The bill tomorrow will raise capital gains, will attempt to raise capital gains taxes, inheritance taxes, corporate tax, and also um, wealth tax. And you're going to be hearing more about this over the next few days. Meantime, let me cut back to forced stimulus. And before that, let me also advise you that there's a new report that says that students really need to get back to school because they are concerned that after a year of closing, nearly more than half of the public school and K-12 teachers say that there's been a significant loss of learning. This is a new report published today by Horace Mann. All right, let me cut back to four stimulus. So what you need to know about the arrival of the stimulus check is the following. One, if you're on direct express, it may come in the mail or it may come on direct express tomorrow. But five out of time, five out of 10 times, over 50%, it may come in the mail. Number two, if you're on SSI or SSDI, it may come in the mail. Number three, if you are not on benefits, it may come in the mail. Then if you have no result for your name, Lean on the results of what you see with everyone else on this channel. Their results indicate the analytics. Their analytics are that some of them are getting direct deposits tomorrow. Not 50% of this channel. Some are. Not a very large amount. The largest amount is that mail check of March 26. It's an enormous segment of this viewership of the channel. The next largest segment is that mail check April 2nd to April 5th. Additionally, check that IRS tool once a day because it's updating itself, and I have had viewers go from no results to now adding the stuff in there. Additionally, understand that Treasury and myself and you have the most updated information. There's a series of banks and websites and things that have not been updated for two weeks. There's a series of news reports that are signed things from two to three weeks ago. And there's a series of false statements from at least Representative Neal that says no one got stimulus checks from an entire group, which is untrue. That no one got stimulus checks because they didn't know where you are. That's also untrue. They actually have you in the IRS database and they haven't sent out the checks we've seen from viewers this channel. So ultimately, stay positive, stay focused, stay motivated. Don't fret. It has not been a particularly long run. What I want you to understand is that tomorrow is not the end all and the be all. Some will get it tomorrow and some will get it in the mail. Together as a family, we're going to get to the finish line and find where that check is. Meantime, with that message to always remain positive and focused and, uh, and vigilant and never in despair, let me give you the update about what happened with this video.
This video was recorded not on March 30th, but a few weeks after March 30th. In the video, Giovanni reveals that several of his employees are considering calling it an end because they couldn't deal with the stress of not seeing the money come. Eventually, in the weeks to come, I did get an update. And that update was delivered from Giovanni to me in private message. Eventually, one of, the, one of his employees called it quits. I don't want you to be that type of person. I don't want you to bring negativity, falsehoods, or depression anytime to this channel. Because ultimately, everyone gets together and gets through the final line. After weeks and months of me fighting for that 330, 331, and 4.8 Vortex viewers, I got 99.99% .99 of them their money. Yes, it took a while. Yes, some of them had to wait to almost May. But I got over $25 million for those viewers who did not get a penny while I watched other people get their checks first before them. I want you to always remain positive and focus because together as a family, we'll get to the finish line. Stay informed, stay focused. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video and keep that person in your wishes tonight and your prayers. Stay informed, stay focused, and have a great evening. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Well, no, I'll see you on Hazard Bay in 90 minutes from now. Uh, and also, I've been on the live chat all night, so say hi as well. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Evenings LA for more.